Hey there everyone, I'm Nathan from Minnesota Mobile Guy. If you're not already familiar with me, I own and operate my own business helping clients from all over the world with all sorts of different services for smartphones. Now one of the most popular services that I'm requested to perform is removing the Google account lock from a phone that has that enabled. We'll talk about that a little more later, but right now for here with me today I have a Verizon Wireless Samsung Galaxy S7, the newest one that was just released this year. And this one does indeed have that Google account lock here enabled, as we can see on the screen here. It is asking us here to sign in with a Google account that was previously synced on this device. But if you know me at all, you know that I'm making this video to let you know that my business offers a service to be able to remove that lock from the phone, and that's exactly what I'm going to do with the one here that I have right now. And it's not going to be done via signing in with my own account. It's going to be a little bit of a trick method here that I can manipulate the phone with. So give me two seconds to get things going here. We're going to start the initial process. So then we're going to... There we go. So I've begun the process here. There's things that are happening in the background, but we're still on the lock screen here. So we're going to show that the lock can be bypassed without actually putting in an account into that screen. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the back arrow, and it's going to take us back to the Wi-Fi connections here. And then we're going to go ahead and do Next. And there, without even putting in an account into that screen, we get a message here that says that your first account is ready for use which is something that's based on the steps that I did while the phone was turned around that I obviously can't reveal. So now we're going to hit next. And now the phone is going to sit here on this screen for a couple minutes. You can fast forward to the end of the video if you like to see that the lock has been removed. For the time being, I'm going to talk a little bit more about the lock for those who may not be such uh, quite as familiar with it. The Google account lock is kind of a copycat of Apple's iCloud lock, if you're familiar with that at all, in that the lock is enabled when the phone is factory reset without first removing the Google account that was on it previously. So in other words, this phone had a factory reset done to it, the Google account that was on it was not first removed, and so Google's kind of added that as a security feature in order to combat some of the theft and the fraud and everything that happens going on with cell phones these days. So it's designed to make the phone unusable if the lock is enabled without having the information of the previous owner. However, I've been contacted by tons of people from all over the world asking for help with their phone, usually because either, number one, they were sold the phone by a dishonest seller who didn't tell them about the phone's true status, and when they went to go use the phone, they saw that the lock was enabled. Or, a lot of people also have even accidentally locked themselves out of their own phone, and then they didn't remember the Google account to get back in. So either they forgot their PIN number, or their kid was playing with their phone and set up a PIN lock and they couldn't get in, or whatever the case may be. They had to reset the phone, but because they didn't remember the Google account information they had set it up with, they were then basically locked out of their own phone. So no matter what the situation is, I am now offering a service to be able to remove the lock on this phone here. We should just have another little bit of time here before that finally goes through. When I've tested this before, it generally takes two or three minutes on this step, and then we can finally go through afterwards. So I'm just going to leave it here. I'm not going to pull the phone away from the screen so you guys can see this is the real deal. Uh, go ahead and fast forward if you like until it's done, and I'll just be sitting here waiting. There we go. So we're now into the next steps of the setup process. Now seeing that we can see the time, date and time here, so we can go ahead and proceed to skip through all the rest of the setup steps. So it's still thinking and going through. We're back to Verizon Setup Wizard, and we're just going to go ahead and skip through that. Skip. We're finishing up the last steps here. Skip a few more Samsung things, and there we go. We are now finally at the home screen. So that lock has been fully bypassed, and the Verizon S7 is fully uh, ready to be used again. 
So, if you have a Verizon Galaxy S7 or S7 Edge, because the same thing can be done on the Edge and has a Google account lock on it and need to get it removed, go ahead and get in contact with me. All the details and instructions for contacting me will be right in the video description, and I'll also put a slide at the end of the video that has all the information also. Make sure to check out all the other videos that are on my channel also, as I offer a lot of different services for a lot of different phones, and I'm sure you'll find something in there that interests you. Make sure to hit the subscribe button while you're in there too to be notified of all the new videos that I'm constantly putting up just like this one. Y para todos los hispanos hablantes, yo también hablo español, así que ustedes me pueden contactar también sin duda. Thanks for watching everyone, and have a great day.